Hello viewers, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to cut Christmas lights, um, get rid of excess wires like we have here in this case after putting these lights on the railing. There's uh, quite a bit of excess and we just don't need it. So I'm going to show you how we cut that off. Now, it's a relatively simple process. You're only going to need really one or two tools. Um, you're going to need wire strippers and cutters. This tool I have here is a combination of wire cutters and strippers. And you're also going to need some wire nuts. Okay, so now once you got the tools, you now you have to evaluate your light set and find out where the 50 light mark is. On most sets, this is relatively easy to do. You don't have to count 50 lights, that would take way too long. Simply by looking at the wires, you can see that there's a difference in this particular segment of the lights. Here we have three wires going from light to light. Here we only have two wires. And then here we have three wires again. This part where we only have two wires is your 50 light mark. So from the end of the set to this light, this is light number 50. And this is right where you're going to cut it off. Now, that may seem like a waste to cut off all these lights, and it is. But, um, it doesn't have to be a waste because I have another plug here. This is from an old, I don't even know where this came from, but um, I will make, and I'm going to show you how to do this also later in the video, you can make a new light set out of these lights that we're going to cut off. So the first thing we're going to do is more or less just cut it off. Once you've cut off the wires, you're pretty much done. There's no more wiring that you really have to do at this point other than capping off the two wires that you just cut. Uh, after you separate the wires out, this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and make sure it's working. And then we'll put the wire nuts on. Okay, the whole set is in fact working. So now we're going to put the wire nuts on. These are relatively small wire nuts. Um, they're probably even a little bit larger than what we need here. Um, but you just simply cap off each end. And we'll do this end as well. And that's it. So here we have, let's get that out of the way, we have the old set that I just cut off. We have the two, two wire ends and we have a new lead that we're going to put on here. So the first thing we got to do is strip all the wires, which you'll be doing with your wire stripper obviously. Now this does involve a, a bit more wiring than what I just showed you before, but it's still relatively simple. Uh, these wires, or these lights rather, are non-polarized, so you don't have to worry about polarity um, or lining up the plugs and wires in any certain way because it just doesn't matter. Now if you're working with like C9 sets or C7 sets or some other lights or even appliances, you, you are going to want to pay attention to the polarity, but for this, really is irrelevant. At this point, all you're going to do is literally just take one wire, connect it to one side, and the other wire to the other side. And then put the wire nuts on. Now if you're going to do this permanently, you can use something better than wire nuts. You can use string tubing or uh, crimps. Wire nuts are okay but it's not very slightly and obviously the plugs don't, I mean the wire doesn't flow very nicely with it like that, but um, just for the video this will do just fine. Okay, so once your nuts are on there, fine. Let's uh, go test it out. Yeah, they work just fine. There are a couple of bulbs that are out, but otherwise it's working fine. Now this wiring procedure that I just used is the same one that you're going to use if you were to cut the other end of the light set. For example, right here on this railing, I had to cut the plug end off because it was a bit too long. 
So I use the same method and we have our wire nut connection there and uh, whoops. Anyways, so that's, that's how it works. Uh, it's definitely easier to cut off the plug or the socket end, but doing the plug end is relatively simple as well. It just requires some very basic wiring knowledge. So thank you for watching. I hope the video was helpful to somebody over and out.